Number 57. Calculate the ionization constant for each of the following acids or bases from the ionization constant of its conjugate base or conjugate acid. And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have to find the ionization constant of AsO43-. Now the first thing is, is what is this? Is this an acid or a base? Well, I don't see any hydrogens, right? There's no hydrogens in the front nor in the back, so this can't possibly be an acid. It has to be a base. And because it's a base, the ionization constant that we're solving for is Kb. Now, I went to the back of the chapter to find the corresponding conjugate acid of ASO4-. Remember, the conjugate acid is always one more hydrogen more than what you got. So it would be H, ASO4, and because of that, you add 1 to your charge. So th negative 3 plus 1 is a negative 2. So I went to the back of the chapter, I saw that, or the back of the textbook, the Ka value for the corresponding conjugate acid is 3.0 times 10 to the negative 12. So in essence, we just have to turn that Ka value into a Kb value. Any uh, formulas that come to mind, there's got to be one of them, and the only formula to convert Ka to Kb is this formula right here. It's the Kw formula. Now, just for simplicity of this video, if I want to solve for Kb, how do I get Kb by itself? I would divide on both sides by the Ka, right? If I divide on both sides by the Ka, the Ka cancels out, and you have Kw over Ka equals Kb. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this case, just easier for the video. Um, but you don't have to do it this way. You could just memorize it as you know, the other way, plug it in and solve, and you'll get the same exact answer. Okay, so there we go. So now just know that since we're dealing with numbers in the back of a textbook, we're at room temp, which means that we probably should memorize that Kw value. The W stands for water. The ionization constant that you need to memorize is 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So if I know that as a constant, and the Ka is 3.0 times 10 to the negative 12th, I could find the Kb. So let's do it. Something divided by something equals Kb, 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th Kw, divided by the Ka, 3.0 times 10 to the negative 12th. And then we arrive at our answer, Kb. Calc out. 1 times 10 to the negative 14th divided by 3, divided by, whoop, nope, just kidding, 3, 3 times 10 to the negative 12th. And I get, I guess we'll put it in scientific notation, or actually, we don't have to, 0 0.0033 for two sig figs, and call it a day. This would be the same as 3.3 3 times 10 to the negative third, so 3 is all around, but I'll keep it like this. And there's your Kb. That's it. Let me just make this all nice and pretty. Okay, cool. Hopefully this helped. What do you think, guys? I think we have a couple more in this question, so hang tight. Letter D is going to come. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, please press the subscribe button. Uh, that would mean the world to me and my brother. We're really trying to give you great educational content out there to help you guys with your classes. So I hope this is working. See you in a little bit. Bye-bye.